Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the feature Trim Content Behind Media Items When Editing in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here with a couple of vocal audio files. It sounds like this. Baby, baby. Now, by default, this feature is off, which we can see if we go up here to the Options menu and go down here to Trim Content Behind Media Items when Editing. And we can see it's off. So if we were to grab this audio file right here and put it on top of this one, by default, it's going to crossfade. This one's going to fade out into this one. This one's going to fade in afterwards. Because auto crossfade is on by default. As we can see, right over here. But if we turn it off, either here or using the toolbar button over here, now if we drag this item over this one, both items are going to play at the same time, as we can see. And we can add as many as we want. So let's duplicate this one and put it on top again. Duplicate this one and put it on top again. But as we can tell, it's hard to see what's going on. We're hearing four files at the same time. And if we want to see it, we can go to the Options menu and turn on the option right down here. Show overlapping media items in lanes when there's room. So if we choose this, it puts the item in separate lanes. So we can still combine multiple items at the same time. Just drag them on top of each other, and we're still going to hear all of them at the same time. Baby, baby. As this option only changes what we see. So if we turn this off, it all shows up like this. We don't see them in separate lanes, which again, can kind of look confusing. But if we don't want this behavior, and we only want to hear one audio item at a time, we could use this feature. So let's undo all this, and we're back to two items. And let's turn on Trim Content Behind Media Items when editing. And with this turned on, if we drag this item onto this one, it's going to trim this one. Pull it back. See it's trimmed. Let's do it again. Drag it over. And it's going to trim this item to make room for this one. And it'll work in both directions. So if we drag this one instead and put it over this one, it trims this one instead. So it's basically making it so we can only hear one piece of audio at a time. Drag this one on top, and it trims this one, so we're just hearing one item at a time, at least for each track. Now, it's important to note, it only works like this for editing. If you wanted to record on top of this item, let's turn this off, and by default, the recording mode is set to split existing items and create takes. So if we record on top of this item, baby, baby. it creates a new take with this item. Take one, take two. Baby, baby. And take three. So it doesn't trim during recording. And it doesn't matter even if we turn this option on. Baby, baby. It still creates takes in this mode. And also, if we switch it to trim existing items behind new recording or tape mode, it's going to trim regardless if this mode is on or off. So if it's on, it's still going to trim. If we record, Baby. it trims this item during the recording. 
And if we turn it off, it's going to do the same thing. Baby. It trims this item during the recording. So this option only matters during editing. Leave it on. If we only want to hear one item per track, like this, it trims it. Or leave it off, which it is by default, if you want to hear both at the same time, like this. Baby, baby, baby. And it'll work the same way for MIDI. So if we draw in some MIDI items and drag this one onto this one, both items are going to play at the same time. Once we turn on the option, trim content behind media items when editing. And if that's on, it's going to trim this item with this one. And again, it's going to work in both directions, either this way or this way. Trims this one based on where we move it to. Now, it's important to note, if you prefer to work with this option on by default, we need to save it as a default. Because even though it's on right now, if we create a new project, it starts out with it off. So if we want this on, just turn it on, go to the project settings, and choose Save as Default Project Settings. And now, if we create a new project, it's going to start off with trim content behind media items when editing on by default. But of course, we could turn it on and off whenever we want. So that's pretty much it. That's the feature, trim content behind media items when editing in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!